Today, I'm gonna to show you the top three ways to shoot balls. So today I found myself shooting balls at home, not something I usually do. It's actually for a newsletter for my wife's company. Now normally I shoot beauty campaigns or fashion. Today I'm at home shooting this and in the middle of it I thought, you know what? I've got some things going on here that I thought you might like to know. So we brought the camera out and here we go. What the, what the problem is that we're working through is how to get greater depth of field on white. Now when shooting for a recipe book, I love those shots where there's a shallow depth of field and you know it's on wood and it's got this incredible styling and you've just got these perfect little pieces of food in focus. This is not one of those shots. I often find on white, when you're shooting on white, for whatever reason, we generally want to shoot a deep depth of field. We want to see a lot more stuff in focus. We, this is a shot that just, bam, it just reaches out to you. There's going to be some bright copy, so we got to leave some space, negative space up there for some copy, and then the food has to go, bam, underneath. And often, if you get shallow depth of field, especially with this styling, we've got uh, these homemade protein balls that have got uh, chocolate, some chili pepper, and some cinnamon. We want to see all those things. So let's go ahead and take a shot, and I'll walk through what the issues are. So I'm going to shoot what I would normally shoot at, like an F4. And what we'll find is in close, when I shoot at F4, I've got this protein ball in focus just fine. But this is just kind of a smear of color. You know what? That's a fine shot, but we can do better. Now to get deep depth of field, there's three ways uh, kind of alluded to. One of them is to have a smaller sensor. Now, of course, an iPhone has a smaller sensor. If I shoot this same shot from the same spot with my camera, and I go ahead and shoot that on an iPhone, that whole thing is gonna be in focus. This camera can shoot way better than my iPhone and have way better control, but because it's a full frame sensor, that large sensor creates a very shallow depth of field. So one of the ways that we fix that is by closing up the aperture. So let's move to F8, which if I was shooting people, F8 has got like quite a deep depth of field. So focused on that first ball because that's kind of our, our subject ball. There we go. I go ahead and take the photo and there we are. Now this front ball is looking better. At, at F8, my, my lens is kind of in the sweet spot. It's got a little more contrast. That's gonna be subtle. This chocolate's totally out of focus. It's starting to come in now. It's, it's a bit darker. We got a little more detail through here, but we really can't see that that spice and certainly not like that iPhone shot where everything's in focus. So let's close way up to F16. Now F16 should give me a really deep depth of field, right? I will go ahead and shoot that and bam. There we go. We got a, a much deeper depth of field. This, uh, this ball, our front ball, actually isn't quite as sharp as it was before, ironically. You would think it would be extra sharp being F16, but we're not in the sweet spot of the lens anymore. And so as that closes up, we lose our contrast. Uh, but we can see that there's some detail going on in this spice here. We're not getting anything on this spice. This chocolate actually looks quite good. Now, if we want to get all the way through, the, the, the furthest lens, this lens goes is f22. I'll go ahead and I will shoot that. But the problem is at f22 that our lens just doesn't look as good anymore. Everything in this shot kind of looks a little soft. It doesn't have that popping sharpness. And that was kind of what I was alluding to. We want this shot to really pop on white and have this copy up here. So we have two ways left to fix it we can make our sensor smaller. So on some cameras, especially on the Sony's, you can go into crop sensor mode and that will give you a smaller spot on your sensor, much like this. And the final thing we can do is called focus bracketing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back to F8 and that's where, that's where that image really looked best. We'll, we'll go back there. We'll start again with our first shot. I knock out an F8. And just while I'm thinking about it, sometimes when you're set up on a tripod and you go ahead and shoot, you'll end up with a soft shot. And you go, I'm in focus, I swear I'm in focus. And it'll keep being soft. 
what you've got going on is steady, sh steady shot or vibration reduction or some kind of your, your camera's version of steadying for your hands. Ironically, when it's on a tripod, it will actually create movement on your shot and what you're seeing is motion blur. And so I, I had that a little earlier going, what's going on? I was like, oh yeah, I never shoot like this. It's steady shot is on. Okay, this, back to this. At F8, this ball looks fantastic, but we don't have any detail through here. So I'm going to move over to this piece of chocolate. I carefully do not move my camera because I want this camera to be in exactly the same spot. I refocus, I lightly touch the shutter, and now this area is gonna be in sharp focus. And this spice here is now fantastically sharp. We never hit this at F16 or F22. I never had this kind of detail. So F8 is really the sweet spot to make this pop. I still don't have this spice here, so I move back and I focus there. I take that shot. And that's fantastically in focus. As I go through all four shots, I've done what's called focus bracketing and I've shot for different areas. Now what we can do in post, and we'll do this in ACDC 2020, is we can actually take those four shots and put them together in a way where we get to choose what's in focus. And that can be really powerful because sometimes you don't want everything in focus, but you now get to choose. I will show you how to do that. And as a bonus, I have one more thing that you can try. And this doesn't work in all situations, but in this case it will. Because I have a 42 megapixel camera, lots of megapixels. This is a 4K monitor, so like we're not getting anywhere near the detail of what this camera can pull off. And this is going out in an email newsletter for which I probably only need one megapixel, 1 40th of what this camera can do. Another option that we can do is actually pull this camera back. We leave the exposure the same and I focus on that middle ball. I take the same shot and then what we do is we crop the photo. That's your top three and a half ways which you can extend your depth of field. If you got something out of this video, please click like. If you wanna follow up with the videos on the post-production of how I stacked these focus images in ACDC to learn that, make sure you're subscribed and click the little blue bell so you get a notification for when that comes out. If you've got any questions, please throw them down in the comments. I am monitoring that. I am happy to answer questions or if you wanna know how certain shots are done that I can follow up with, I am all over it. I'm here to help. In the meantime, get out there and shoot and make the world a better and more beautiful place.